In Terry v. Ohio, the United States Supreme Court held that police may briefly detain a person based on reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. Known as a Terry stop, the police also may conduct a pat-down search of the person for weapons. In Minnesota v. Dickerson, the Supreme Court considered when the police may seize contraband found during a pat-down search. On November 9, 1989, Two Minneapolis police officers saw Timothy Dickerson leave a known crack house and start walking toward them. When Dickerson spotted the police car, he immediately turned and walked in the opposite direction. Dickerson's actions raised suspicion, so the officers followed Dickerson into an alley. There they stopped Dickerson and one of the officers conducted a pat-down search. The officer found no weapons but did feel a lump in Dickerson's front pocket. The officer felt the object and then, believing it to be crack cocaine, pulled a plastic bag from Dickerson's pocket. The officer's suspicion proved correct. Dickerson was charged with possession of a controlled substance. At trial, Dickerson moved to suppress the cocaine, arguing that it was seized in violation of the Fourth Amendment. The trial court denied the motion and ruled that the discovery of the cocaine during a Terry search was analogous to the Plain View Doctrine which allows the police to seize contraband in plain view during a lawful search. Dickerson appealed. The Minnesota Court of Appeals reversed and rejected the trial court's application of a plain feel exception to the warrant requirement. The Minnesota Supreme Court affirmed and noted that the officer discovered the cocaine only after he continued to investigate an item he knew wasn't a weapon. The United States Supreme Court granted cert 